Good morning and welcome back. My name is Keegan Harkins and we're continuing our study of the Bible. We are in Genesis chapter 2 today, so we haven't gone very far. This is only the second video. So today we're looking specifically at Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. It says, The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Most of us don't want to admit that God's initial design for humanity included work. However, the truth is that we were created and designed to be useful. And as Christians, we know that we have the duty to work at spreading the gospel. The Apostle Paul, he goes a bit deeper into teaching us to be an instrument of noble purposes. That's what he calls it in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 21, the end of that verse. It says that we're to be an instrument of noble purposes, made holy, useful to the master, and prepared to do any good work. But what does it mean to work for God? Well, the Hebrew word for work that's used in Genesis 2.15 is abad. And the implications of this word, according to Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, is to be a worshiper, a servant, and even a slave. It means to serve and to labor. And there's this connection between work and worship. We worship God through our work, through our labor, through our service to him. And that's why Colossians 3.23 encourages us, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. So let us commit everything that we do today, no matter how trivial and maybe inconsequential we think it is, let's think of it as an act of worship to our Father who gave us the ability to serve our lives can be an entire song of thanksgiving to the Lord. Let's focus today on having our life and the work that we do, every part of it, give God glory. And just see how that changes our outlook, how it changes the way that we deal with people today, the way that we think about doing the dishes for the 19th time or washing laundry or sitting in a, a boring classroom or anything that we're called to do. Let's do it as an act of worship for the Lord. Have a truly blessed day. See you tomorrow.